Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And I am back for a new week of reviews. And today we will be reviewing the Lightning Series, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Ranger. Do, 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 do. Go, go, Power Rangers, you mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I could not help singing that song. But we got the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. And this is some nice box art of the Red Ranger, if I do say so myself. Power Rangers Lightning Series, Red Ranger. And yes, we are reviewing two figures... Plus, some Overwatch keychains. And here's a picture of the product shot of the Red Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. And a lot of information on the back of the box, warning and all that. That's all there is to say for that packaging. Let's look at the Blue Ranger's box. Some nice artwork of the Blue Ranger. Power Rangers Lightning Series. Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger Hasbro. 4 Plus, which is the age. Age requirement for this figure. And we got some more warning information. Product shot of the Blue Ranger. And more information, Hasbro. That's all there is to say for that packaging. And first we're going to look at the Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger. He does come with an alternative head and this is his non-morphed face, which is a pretty good accurate face to Billy from the Mighty Morphin series. I will say, this paint sculpt ain't half bad. But it's hard to remove the head and then reattach it with these head switching out things. And you do have an option for the power blaster. See? These weapons will go to the power blaster. Some extra clenched fists, if you can make that out. And you can have the Blue Ranger... Um, totally static for a an attack. See, you can have them with a spear, lightning spear strike, if you want to do that. It's effects part, you can do what you want with it. But so I don't lose these accessories, they're going back in the bag. Because I will put these back in the bag and back in the box. And you're wondering about that pistol on his waist. I'll get to that. And he can totally pull out his pistol and go shooting with this pistol. This Power Rangers pistol. You know, pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. I love saying that. <laughs> and that's all there is to say for the Blue Ranger. Except for articulation, you get double-jointed knees, which are pretty tough. I'm afraid I'm going to snap it. I'm not going to bother bending it much. Okay, the bends are pretty tight on these figures. You get some leg movement. Arm is on a double joint, which is really nice. Head is on a ball joint, really nice. And now we're going to do a comparison with an older Bandai Mighty Morphin figure, and this is the White Ranger. And they look good together. I'll keep that comparison when I do the Red Ranger, which is going to be next, right now. <laughs> as soon as I put his pistol back into his holster. And here we got the Red Ranger. Look at all good looking and red and the legs are a little bit more looser on this one one leg is 
Well, both legs. They're just a bit tight. Sorry if I don't bend much of the joints. If they're tight joints, I'm not going to continue to mess around with them in fear of breaking them. And you can give him his pistol, and you can have him going with his pistol. You go pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. And yes, I love using that style. And I got that from Emgo, one of my favorite reviewers. And now we're going to put his pistol back into his holster. And we're going to look at the accessories. The accessories for the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. And we got an alternative head, which is for his non-morphed head. And this is the Jason head sculpt, which is really good. I will say this head sculpt is really nice. But I'm probably not going to display him with it. And we get some alternative hands, which are more fists, so you can go punchies. He can totally punchy you. <laughs> and then we're going to show off the effects part, which goes right on his blade if I can get it to work. Nice and easy. And look at that. He's ready to strike. Oh, yeah. But now for comparison, here he is next to the White Ranger from the original Bandai, which I do have. And they look okay together. This is my first Mighty Morphin Power Rangers figures. Because I don't have the all the original Bandai stuff or the other Lightning series. I'm so glad I picked these up for my collection. They will make a fine addition to my collection. And now we're going to look at our Overwatch keychains. I do not know the names of these. So if you know, leave me a comment. We got this Angel girl from Overwatch. I don't know her name, but she's pretty cute. For a keychain. We got this dude. I know nothing about Overwatch. So, if you know something about these characters I don't, leave me a comment. But this guy reminds me of someone from uh, Dragon Ball, kinda. And look at this dude. He is like a chubby boy. <laughs> All chubby like that. It's pretty neat. And that's all there is to say for these figures. They don't have any posability. And now I'm going to end this video. You're probably wondering, where did I get these Lightning Series figures? Well, I got these from Amazon together. Were they worth it to pick up? I am definitely a Power Rangers fan. Because I love these figures. Would I recommend these Mighty Morphin figures and Overwatch keychains? Yes. If you like collecting as much as I do, pick them up. You won't regret it. And that's all there is to say for this video. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.